we will see introduction and history of operating systems so in the screen you will see some of the operating system like windows mac operating system linux bada which is actually used for samsung mobile phones clear operating system ubuntu android operating system which now have many versions symbian operating system which was used in nokia mobile phones palm operating system then we have the apple ios operating system for iphones ipads then we have blackberry java operating system also we have cent operating system so these are some of the operating system now the question comes what is operating system so let us see what is operating system so for a non technical person if we have to explain what is operating system the definition will be something like this an operating system is a program that controls the execution of application programs and acts as an interface between the user of a computer and the computer hardware that is it is acting as an interface now what is that interface this is the graphical is user interface that is available to the user of a computer and which actually helps to control the hardware for example we can type in through a keyboard which is a input output device we can use a mouse which is again an input output device using the help of operating system so operating system provides that interface otherwise we will be required to write a program to control the keyboard to control the mouse and any other devices so that requirement is resolved with the help of operating system if we go little further into the definition we understand that operating system is the one program running at all the times of the on the computer and it is also called kernel while we have other application programs like a media player or whether this be a word processor but operating system will always run when you switch on the system till when you shut down the system the operating system will keep on running now coming to the more technical definition an operating system is concerned with allocation of resources and services such as memory processor and other devices the operating system correspondingly includes program to manage these resources such as scheduler memory management module input output programs and file system let us understand what is this so when i consider allocation of resources and service so what are the resources now in our system the hardware memory is a resource processor is a resource all the input output devices are the resources now there can be an application program for example a word processor or a media player and both of them requesting for memory so operating system have a memory management program which will be handling the request from the media player as well as the word processor similarly if both the devices are requesting for the same input output devices whether that be mouse or keyboard then again operating system has the program to handle that when there are multiple applications running on a system and all of them need processor so we have a scheduler program available in the operating system which whose task is to schedule which program will run first which program will run second which program will run third and so on so if at the same time we have media player we have word processor it will be the operating system scheduler program which will decide whether the media player will run first or the word processor will run first and accordingly so that is about operating system now 
we will see the abstract view of the system components so this diagram roughly gives you an idea that operating system is the interface between the hardware and the between the user so above operating system runs all the other system and application programs like compiler text editor assembler and database system so the interface is provided by the operating system between the user and the hardware now let us see the history of operating system beginning with the year 1950 when the first operating system gm naa io system by general motors and north american aviation was developed for ibm 704 in the year 1956 based on the same concept one more operating system was developed in the year 1959 that was called as shear operating system in 1960s the first time sharing system which is known as compatible time sharing system was developed at mit for ibm 709 system next in 1961 again the burogs master control program was developed mcp for the system b5000 in 1964 the famous operating system by ibm ibm system 360 which was the batch processing system for ibm mainframe was developed batch processing system are the system where each jobs or you can say multiple jobs of the same type are grouped together and they were run actually earlier systems were having this prob problem of uh setup time so this batch processing systems helped in reducing the setup time by grouping similar jobs when i say jobs this can be a single program or this can be multiple programs these are grouped together to form a job and these jobs are then run in the form of batches so there can be 10 jobs and each job may contain multiple programs and that will run together so ibm mainframe computers were actually using this batch processing system mainframe computers were actually the computers during 1960 are the computer which were having a very large memory and higher processor speed in 1968 the multi programming system was developed and that was supporting multitasking means the operating system could support multiple jobs at the same time in 1969 multix again which is a time sharing operating system was released in 1969 came the major revolution here comes the most popular one the unix operating system which was a multitasking and multi user operating system developed at bell labs centered by uh bell labs research center by ken thompson dennis ritchie and few other scientists in 1970s there were some more development like the dos 11 from dec corp dec that is digital equipment corporation for their pdp 11 mini computer mini computers were less powerful compared to mainframe computers having a lesser storage as well as low processor speed in 1972 primos computer was developed by prime computers in 1973 xerox alto first computer that supported operating system based on graphical user interface was developed in 1974 multi programming executive a mainframe computer real time operating system was developed by howlett packard in 1977 berkeley 
unix based operating system was developed which were mainly used for workstation and some of the descendants were freebsd openbsd netbsd the revolution started after 1970 in operating systems in 1981 ms dos that is the current day microsoft's disk operating system was developed for x86 pc and it was actually at that time used for ibm and that is why the branding was done as ibm pc dos instead of ms dos in 1984 came the classic mac operating system from apple and that run with mac os 1 to 9 from 1984 to 2001 in 1985 came the first windows operating system windows 1.0 and but that was developed for apple and that came with graphical user interface and that was in the first uh, computer that was coming with windows operating system and was in mass production in 1987 came the minix operating system which was again based on the unix architecture in 1990 came the microsoft windows 3.0 1991 linux which was again derived from unix operating system 1993 windows new technology nt 2001 mac operating system 10 in 1984 if you see it was from system 1 to 9 and then in 2001 it came as mac operating system 10 next in 2007 came the operating system from apple for their iphones and ipads the ios and the revolution on the field of android uh, mobile phones came with the android operating system now let us see the global market share till july 2020 if you see a statistics collected from statista.com it shows that 77% of the market share for desktop pc is held by windows followed by 17% by mac operating system then by linux 1.85% Chrome operating system 0.67 and others by 2.67 percent. If we see the overall market share till August 2020, the latest data taken from StatCounter.com, Android shares the highest market share 39.23 percent, followed by Windows 35.43 percent, then iOS 14.53 percent, OS X 10. 7.78 percent and Linux coming at 0.85 percent. So that's all from now. Thank you.